Hey, Doc, listen, before we get going, I just want to tell you, I may need an hour and 15 because, holy shit, what's wrong? Nothing, Louis, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to postpone our session. Stan, are you okay? Because if you need something, there isn't anything I wouldn't. I'm fine, Louis. It's a personal issue, and I would rather not discuss it. Well, I've known you for years, and I have never seen that look on your face. So me walking out of here without knowing what's going on isn't going to happen. Then if you must know, it's a legal matter. What kind of legal matter? I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's too bad, because I can't represent you if you don't tell me what happened. Louis, it's out of the question. My personal life has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with Stan, don't you get it? I care about you. I'm a lawyer. And if you're in some kind of trouble... Louis, please. This is not that serious. It's just not every day I'm served with papers. So, if you would be so kind as to reschedule, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, Sam. I'll see you next week. Louis, what are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not leaving until you sign this engagement letter. I told you. I have the matter handled. By Dick Corman, who couldn't handle his way out of a paper bag. Now, either you let me do this or tell me what's going on, but I am a better lawyer than this guy. Louis, please. Stan, don't you believe that I'm great at what I do? Because if I thought you didn't think that, I wouldn't have seen you all these years. I do believe you're great at what you do. But you overreact, particularly when it involves people you care about. God damn it, Stan, your career is on the line. You hire me, you have my word that won't happen. I am well aware my career is on the line, Louis. It is all I can think about. Well, then think about this. How many times have you told me that I get in my own way? Well, now you're getting in yours because I am the best man for this job and deep down you know it. Okay, Louis. You can represent me, but under one condition. I just told you I'll keep myself in check. No, Louis. One other condition. Mr. Grant, you have a moment? Actually, no. Yeah, I don't care. My name is Louis Litt, and I'm representing Dr. Stanley Lipschitz. I thought Dick Corman was representing... Ah, you thought you got lucky, and Dick Corman was handling this. Well, unfortunately for you, the big dogs are here. Well, they better be here with a big, fat settlement, because my client lost his livelihood due to your client's mistake. Your client lost his livelihood because he had a manic episode at work. And I have 50 years of precedent that says you cannot blame a doctor for reasonably prescribing medication. Now, normally I would walk in here and say, I've got you by the balls. Squeeze a little tighter until you beg me for mercy. But I'm not going to do that. Oh, no? No. I'm going to offer you a reasonable settlement that you're going to take because there's not one person on the planet that believes my client was at fault here. Actually, there is one person. And he just happens to be the leading expert in the field. So you're going to take whatever your offer was and add two more zeros. Because I got you, asshole. And that testimony proves it. It proves nothing. And when I get through with your so-called expert, all the jury's gonna see is a quack who is willing to sell his testimony to the highest bidder. I'll see you in court. <laughs>